Once upon a time, there was a king with four wives. One day, the king got sick and was on his deathbed. Afraid of being in the afterlife alone, he asked his fourth wife, which he loved the most, and bought her diamonds and gold and elegant clothing. He asked her, would you die with me and go with me to the afterlife? The fourth wife replied, I'm sorry, I can't do that, and walked away. He also loved his third wife and was very proud and would always show her off to neighboring kingdoms. So he called on his third wife and asked, would you accompany me to the afterlife? The third wife replied, I love my life too much and I'm sorry I cannot go with you. And when you die, I'm going to remarry. His second wife has always been there for him in his times of need. So he asked, would you accompany me to the afterlife? The second wife then replied, I'm sorry that I can't help you out this time, but what I can do is arrange your funeral and I will be there for your funeral. A voice called out and said, I'll leave with you and follow you wherever you go, even if it is to the afterlife. And the king looked and it was his first wife. But this was the wife that he took care of the least, felt embarrassed and said, I'm sorry, I should have taken more care of you and given you more attention when I was alive. The moral of this story is that we all have four wives. Our fourth wife is our body. We like to decorate it with nice jewelry, nice clothing, but in the end, it can't follow us to the afterlife. The third wife represents our possessions. We spend so much time trying to gather possessions, but in the end, they cannot follow us to the afterlife. It will be given to other people and divided. Just like the third wife said, she's going to remarry. The second wife, our friends and family. We trust them. They're always there for us in times of need. But the furthest they can go with us is to our funeral and send us off. Our first wife, the first wife represents our soul. We usually neglect taking care of our soul. That is the thing that will follow us to the afterlife. Care for your body, keep it healthy, enjoy your possessions and the comfort they provide. Cherish your friends and family for the love that they provide. But don't forget to take care of your soul, nourish your soul. Take time to be alone. Take time to pray. Take time to meditate because it is the source of all of your life and your most faithful friend. I hope this story can help you or somebody that you love.